So here's a sample of the six month size and this worked out really easily and the stitch work turned out really nicely but where I fell down was within the dress area here. I did not expand my stitches. What you really will not notice in the photo even though you will notice it after I will say it because then it's obvious but the dress will actually bell out and what I did on here is that I wasn't understanding the dress exactly properly with the chevrons and so my dress ended up going straight down. Okay and it's supposed to bell out. Today's tutorial I'm gonna take my time. I'm going to get you started on the bodice area here. The sleeves are done afterward and then basically when we get to this area here I'm going to be taking my time and showing you how to expand because for rows number 10 all the way to 13 we're going to be expanding these so that it does a nice belling out shape before then you're just basically following the pattern all the way down to the base. So to begin let's start off with the front half double crochet foundation chain. If you've never done one before just follow along. Just leave an extra long tail so that we can deal with that afterward and let's create a slip knot on our fingers. And what we're gonna do is insert the hook. So to create the foundation half double crochet we are just simply going to chain three. So one, two and three. Now we are going to yarn over and insert it into the beginning chain like so. Yarn over, draw through that chain only. So now we have three left on our hook. We're now just gonna yarn over and pull through all three and that is one half double crochet foundation. So basically let's uh, go through this again. So we're just gonna yarn over and we insert it right here. Okay right in that last one. Go and insert into that chain. Okay and yarn over pull through. You now have three on there. This one that you just pulled through is considered the chain if you're looking at the instructions. Pull through and pull through all three. So now you have two. So you need, I'm gonna be doing the three month side so I'm gonna be doing 35 of these. So I'm yarning over, going through that chain area, pull through, you have three left and pull through all three. So yarn over, chain, okay. So once you get started it's really easy. Right? So you just go through that chaining space and I'm going to meet you back up. So please do the number that you want if you're doing different size dresses. Just look at the instructions. You will see that there are different sizes. Could be 35, 38, 40, 45 or 48 and uh, those are just ideas to follow. So I'll meet you back up. I'll have 35 of these done. When I'm done I just wanna make sure I'm counting. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six and seven so far and so you can easily count at the end as well. I've now had my 35 on here. I've triple checked it three times just to make sure. Now what I wanna do is that this is gonna be a solid piece so I want to be able to join it at the top. So we're just gonna just make sure that there's no bends or weird things going on and we're just going to slip stitch it to the beginning of the row. So we're just gonna come in and just go onto the top side of it, pull through and through and therefore you basically have your collar done. I'm now gonna start round number two and now this is classified as the bodice. So everything from the head down to the waist area where the skirt is is considered the bodice for this particular pattern. So we're gonna start off and it says to chain two and it says it does not count as a stitch here and throughout. Okay so we're chaining two. Now normally in half double crochet we come into the same stitch down but as per the instructions it says to skip the first stitch would be, which would be this one right straight down and it's going to the next one right there. So all, all the ones from the bodice area in rounds two all the way up to higher to the skirt we're gonna be going in increments to be able to grow this as it grows out from the shoulders and around to the um, to the baby's um, chest area. So let's uh, begin. We're going to half double crochet now into the next six. So again skip that first one that goes straight down go to the next one over and we're gonna just half double crochet six. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five and six. So now that you have your six we're gonna start putting some um, two stitches into the same one so that we can expand this bodice in the neck area. So uh, every time you get six done you're going to go in the seventh and put two half double crochets into the same stitch and that will make it, allow it to grow. So the repeat pattern on this entire round is six half double crochets. So I got one and two already. Three, 
we have four, five, and six. And every time you get your six, make sure you put in two double, half double crochets into the next. And continue to do that all the way around. And then we're gonna join with a slip stitch and I'll meet you there in just a moment. So I'm coming up all the way around and I have my two in and I still have some more to do. And again, we're doing that combination of six half double crochets. So that was one and two, three, four, five, and six. And guess what this means? That final one right there, that is your final and that will have your two in there. So that's uh, how you know that you're actually on right track of the last one then is to two. And then we're just going to join it with the beginning st stitch right there and that completes off round number two. This whole area here when we go to do our final uh, finishing it'll look better than what you see it at this moment. So let's begin round number three. Okay, round number three, we're gonna start off in chaining a two. So one and two. And again, we're not gonna come straight down like we normally would. We're gonna come right into the next stitch that's available. And this one has a different repeat pattern. So this one is three half double crochets uh, for the six month size. So you're gonna have three in a row. So one, two, and three. Sorry, this is uh, for the six month, or sorry, for the three month size, just so you're aware. So three half double crochets and then we're going to put two into the next one. So this whole uh, repeat pattern all the way around is three half doubles and then the next one is two into the same one and this will allow it to continue to grow. Please do the same repeat pattern all the way around. I'm coming up all the way around on round number three. I finished, I have two here into the same stitch and then I still have more to go. So I remember this one is a repeat pattern of three half doubles. So that was one and two, three. And then the next one right here is the one that has two. So you're doing that. So if that wasn't there then I know I'd be in trouble. And let's join it again with the top of the beginning chain two. And that completes off round number three. Let's begin round number four together and we're simply just going to chain up two again. So one and two and this one has a different repeat pattern and this one here is half double crochet into the four uh, for the three month size and then two into the next and we're repeating all the way around. Again we skip that first one, go to the second over. So we're going for four half doubles in a row. One, two, three, and four. And then the next one has two. And you're gonna repeat that all the way around. Please do that and when we come back I'll finish off this round, move you up the next, to the next one. I'm finishing up round number four. I just got my two in and then we're just coming to the remainder. So one, two, three, and four. And then we have one final stitch and that'll be where the, the final twos are in. So one and two and let's join with a slip stitch to the top of the beginning of chain two once again. And that completes round number four. Round number five, again very easy. We're just going to start off with chaining of two, one and two. The repeat pattern on this one is five. So we skip that first one, go down to the second, go over to the second, sorry, for one and two, three, four, and five. And now the next one has two. So one, and two. So the repeat pattern is five. So continue to do that. One, two, three, four, five and then put a double into the next and continue all the way around. Let's finish up round number five. We have our double in and then we should have enough to take us all the way to the end. So one, two, three, four, five. And then the next one will have two. So one and two. And that concludes this round and just slip stitch to the top of the beginning chaining of two to finalize that one off. Let's move on to round number six. So round number six in all of the patterns that I'm about to describe is different depending on what size that you have. So we're doing the three month version. You could be doing six, 12, 18, or 24 and you just need to follow those instructions depending on what size that you wanna do. Then basically what we're going to do then at this point is then there's all sizes in the pattern that we're gonna continue along with and then we're going to start off with the skirt. So I'm gonna start off with round number six. This is the three month size that I am working on. Just change what I'm saying to 
match the instructions if you're doing something different. So let's uh, begin. We're going to chain two, one and two and then it says to skip the next stitch which is the one directly below. Go to the first one over here and then it says two half double crochets into the next stitch and then eight into the next and then two halves into the next. So this one's gonna be slightly different so let's just work on it together slowly. So let's begin to work slowly. I've got my two chains up. I'm going to put two half double crochets into the next stitch that's available to me. So we're gonna put uh, one and two. So this is slightly different than what you've already been doing the whole time. Now what we're going to do is half double crochet into the next eight stitches. So we're just going to go eight in a row. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight. And now what we're going to do is put two half double crochets into the next. So the repeat pattern is about to start. So the repeat pattern for the remainder of this round is for nine stitches in a row. So let's go for nine half double crochets. So the starting was slightly different. So this is two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and nine. And then we're gonna put two half double crochets into the next. Please do that same configuration for the remainder of nine half double crochets followed by two into the next. Let's finish up round number six together and we are just gonna, I just have my double in and now we should have enough to take us all the way back. So one and two, three and we have four, five, six, seven, eight and nine and now we have one more left which would be your double. So we're going to go to the double at this point just like so and now we're going to join it to the very beginning like that. And that would be how you would finish off this particular round. So let's move on to round number seven. In round number seven we're gonna do things slightly different. Moving on to round number seven of the three month size we're going to chain two, one and two and this round we're gonna start creating the armholes and it's a really a matter of a folding technique on how to do it and I'll show you that in just a second. So it says to chain two which we have and then we're skipping the first stitch. So we're gonna go to the next one over and then essentially what we're going to do is we're going to half double crochet into the next 17 stitches. So let's uh, begin to do that first. Okay so we're, let's do 17 in a row. So we have one and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16 and 17. We're now gonna start the sleeve area and what we have to do is we have to skip so many stitches and then fold it in the right direction so that you can do it. To begin before counting we're gonna chain one. So now we're going to count over and skip 17. So you wanna go to the 18th stitch. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 and 18 right there. Just fold that material towards you. Wrap that yarn, put it into the 18th stitch and then just half double crochet as normal. So therefore you have your first sleeve. Now working on the back side that counts as one of the 22 that we have to do. So we have one done and now we're just gonna go over for 22. So that's two, we have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 
18, 19, 20, 21, and 22. So now that we have our 22 in, we before we begin to count and skip stitches to make the other sleeve, we chain one first. So let's count over. We're gonna go skip 17. So let's go to the 18th stitch. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. Again, fold that material towards you. Wrap that yarn going into the 18th one like so. And now it says is to half double crochet the remaining stitches that you have left on here. And let's uh, conclude off this round which is round number uh, um, this is round number seven. Sorry about that. And then once we have these done, so you'll have a total of five. So one, two, three, four, five. Once you've skipped over those stitches, let's just join it to the top at the beginning. Chain two to finalize off round number seven. Let's now skip down to all sizes. Rounds number eight, nine, ten, eleven, or twelve depending on what size. And basically you now have the sleeves made for your little dress. So we have now the sleeves on both sides. This is the front, back, and back section just like so. So all sizes we are gonna start going and now we have been going around this whole entire thing but now we're only gonna focus around the actual chest area of the baby. To begin this round, it's really simple. It's just half double crochets all the way around but I'm gonna show you what to do at the sleeves. So we're gonna start off with chaining of two, skipping the first stitch going one over and just going to half double crochet all the way around. When we get to the sleeve area, we just have to show you what to do. So we're just gonna work our way over. It's not as big a round anymore because we have done that fold for the sleeves. So you're gonna find this dress will then speed up for time at this particular point. Uh, until the dress starts growing and belling down at the bottom. Okay, so we're just coming along and you're going to be running into the sleeve in just a moment. Okay, and so I have my sleeve area. Remember that we chained one when we did the sleeve so that means that we have to work within that chain to keep it in balance just like so. So we have to remember get this one as well. Okay, and we get that chain just like so and then just continue. So continue to go all the way around doing the same thing on the other side when you hit that sleeve area and it should look all nice and balanced just like so. We're just finishing up round number eight together and we're just coming all the way back around and then we're just going to join it with a slip stitch to the top of the beginning chain two. So therefore you have everything all now nice and set now and now we're gonna go on with our final round for all of them before we start with the dress area. So to begin the next one we're just going to chain two. We simply just go into the next stitch and half double crochet all the way around. Now that you've gone around that sleeve area you can just basically follow it around with ease as you go. So please half double crochet all the way around and then when we come back we'll just finalize off this round and then we're gonna start the fun work which is the bottom of the dress. Okay, let's finish off round number nine which is the final of all sizes and it could be rounds number 10, 11, 12 or 13 depending on what size you're working on. Let's just join it to the top of the beginning just like so. So now we're ready to start on with the skirt area. I'm going to show you a couple diagrams or a few diagrams actually to help you as you go and uh, basically this is just a memory tip for you. So if you like what you see just pause the video so that you can make a mental note at that time. So here's the diagram that I wrote for this particular one. Um, basically I really kind of struggled visualizing this in the pattern so I had to write it as a diagram. If you're familiar with crochet diagrams you will understand this completely. So these T's are representing the half double crochets as we've come all the way across and then this here is a period and that represents a slip stitch. So this is where we are. So what we're going to do for round number 10 is that we're going to chain up three and then we're gonna put two half double crochet or sorry two double crochets into the same stitch. The next stitch is going to be a double crochet and then the next three half doubles here are going to come together with uh, uh, three double or decrease double crochets or three double cro crochet <laughs> three double crochet decreases there there we go and then basically it's one by itself and then three and so we're now going to start recreating the chevron look that is waving at the bottom. So this is how we do it. So I'm gonna take you through step by step. We haven't changed colors as of yet but we will be shortly in the next round. 
It's important that your project is still in balance with the right stitch counts. If it's not, I'm gonna show you how to fake it at the end of this round if you need to. So what we're going to do is we're, we're gonna start off and we're going to chain three. So one, two, three and into the same stitch right directly below we're gonna put two more double crochets in and we're gonna create the starting of the chevrons like so. The very next stitch that's available to you is that it's gonna be a one double crochet by itself. Okay and the next one is gonna be three double crochets together and so basically the next three stitches are gonna come together. How we do that is that we wrap going into the stitch, pull through, pull through two and hold. We go into the another one. So we wrap, next stitch, pull through, pull through two and hold. Wrap, next stitch, pull through, pull through two and hold. You will have four loops on your hook and then basically just yarn over and pull through all of four. We're now going to start the next part then. Here's the repeat pattern. One double crochet by itself. The next one is going to be three double crochets into the same one again like you started. So one, two, three. The next one is going to be one double crochet by itself and then the next one is going to be the next three together. So wrap, wrap and put over and just keep gathering them until you get your loops and then pull through. Okay, so one by itself and then the next one are three into the same one. So continue to do that same pattern all the way around. If it's not gonna work out, I'm gonna show you how to cheat the system if you have to because you really have to get this now in balance for the remainder of the dress to stay in balance as well. I'm coming all the way back around now on round number 10 and I happen to have the right amount of stitches left. So basically I want to make sure that I have to um, keep everything so I've come all the way back around and I'm actually short one stitch and this is a way to cheat the system instead of having to frog all of your work. So we have to stay in balance from this point but these chevrons really dictate whether the rest of the dress will stay in balance. So this is where you're gonna cheat the system. So essentially I need more stitches left. I only need one more left. So what I'm going to do here is that I should have actually one double crocheted and then the next three are together and then one double crochet. I'm missing one stitch. So what I'm going to do here is that I have three here. I'm gonna put a fourth in instead. So that counts as one of them and then the next three are together. So now I know in the next round it's gonna work out and be proper. And then the last one here is one double crochet just like so and I just join it to the top of the beginning chain three. So I just had to fake it right in this one section just so that I could stay in balance so that the rest of the dress will work out and this is the only place that you really do need to fake it at this point. And when we come back we're gonna start off round number 11 and we're going to change color at that time as well. Let's begin round number 11 and round number 11 we're actually starting and stopping at the wrong place. So we, we just joined it to the beginning of the three section right here. We need to be into the middle. So what we have to do is that we have to insert our hook into the middle stitch and let that white one go. I've already trimmed it off camera and then I'm just gonna grab my red and I'm just gonna pull my red through to, to start up the next color just like so. Notice that there's no knots or anything. I'm gonna use the stragglers down and just trap the stitches as I go. So let's uh, begin to do round number 11. Very easy. It's just the uh, instructions look really intimidating. Let's begin. Now that we know that our stitches are in balance based on what we've already done before, we're going to just start off. So we're just going to chain off three, one, two, and three and we're gonna put two double crochets into that same space. When I go to do that I wanna make sure that these stragglers are down on top of the line so I can trap them underneath. And we're gonna do that for a couple inches to be honest with you. And we're now going to put in two more double crochets. So into the next one here so the group of three you're gonna put a double crochet in and you're going to put another double crochet into the next one. And here's where the pattern really threw me for a loop. The next three stitches have to come together but the problem is is that if you don't go back and do another stitch here then what happens is that you're not gonna be balanced when you get to the top of the other chevron. So as per the instructions when we go to put three together we're going to include this one here already. So we're just gonna wrap going into the same stitch, pull through, pull through two and hold. We're gonna go into the middle one where everything is gathering 
just like so. Pull through two and hold and then we're gonna go into the very next one. Pull through, pull through two and hold. So now you have four and you're gonna pull through all. But in order to say balance going back up the other direction we have to put another double crochet right where that last one is as well. So just like you did on the other side where you put an extra one here you need to do it on this side too to stay in balance. So now what we're going to do is one double crochet first by itself just like you did over here and now you're on the top of the of the middle of the three. So I'm gonna review this once again. So we're now at the top so the tops you're gonna put three double crochets in the same hole. Just like that. We're now gonna put one, I'm gonna let these stragglers go. They're in enough distance for me and the next one is gonna be one double crochet by itself. The next one is gonna be a double crochet by itself. But here's where the trick is. Remember we're now gonna start gathering them all but we gather starting at the same one. So going into the same stitch, pull through, pull through two and hold. Go into the middle where they're all gathered and then go into the next one. You now have four loops on your hook. Pull through. We start off with the last one that you gathered. So one and two and then this should take you to the middle of the section of three which it does and then you put in three double crochets. Please repeat that same pattern going all the way around and this is round number 11. So I'm coming all the way back around and you can tell that I have flawed the system by just ad-libbing at this point and I really wanna show you that it doesn't matter because the stitch counts are gonna stay proper and in balance. So what we're going to do here is that I am just starting off the same way that I would have done before. So in actual fact I should be in the middle of the group of three but I put four so that I'm back in balance. I'm just gonna pretend I never saw that because it will balance out. Okay so we got our top of our three and we're just continuing along. So the goal is, is to make sure that you have enough stitches left over in order to really um, make the stitches count. So at the end we're just going to put uh, three together just like so. Okay and then we're gonna come up the other side so we go into the same one as that we're supposed to and then you look you got one left which is proper and then you just join it to the top of the beginning of chaining of three. Now if I hadn't ad-libbed at this particular point this would be off. So by just ad-libbing on the one part I know that the rest of the dress will stay in balance. By the way if you've not clued in why we're doing this we're doing it so that the dress is gonna belt out at the bottom. Let's move along to round number 12. Round number 12 we're gonna use the same color so do not fasten off at this time. Okay round number 12 we're going to start but we're starting off in the wrong place if we start right now. So the first thing we have to do in the group of three we have to then slip stitch to the middle one of the three to begin. So let's uh, begin this point and we're going to chain up three, one, two and three. We're still gonna be belling out so we're still gonna be adding some extra stitches along the way just like we just did in the last round. We're gonna put two double crochets into the same stitch that you just did that slip stitch in and now we're going to start working the other way. So we're now gonna continue and we're gonna put three double crochets by themselves in the next three stitches. Just like so. So now just like we did in the last round you have to start off your decrease but you have to start off in the same stitch like you did before. This is allowing it to increase its size and you're doing the decreasing at this point. Pull two and then when you come up the other side you have to then put the first double crochet into that, that one as well. So one, two and three. So we have an extra stitch there that's why you had three. This one you only had two and now you're at the middle of the section of three. So let's review again. So we're gonna put three double crochet in just like so. And now we're going to come down the other side. So we're gonna put three uh, double crochets in a row. Just like that. And we now have to do the decrease to keep the chevron. We start off in the first one. Like that. Go to the next one which is the middle and then the next one. To gather, and to gather them four loops pull through and then we start off in the first one that was right there. So one two 
and three. And now you're back on the top of your next group of three. Please do that all the way around. When we come back we're gonna start off round number 13 which is gonna be the same for the remainder of the dress right into the last bottom round. So let's uh, come back all the way around and we just have our three at the top and then again three uh, double crochets by themselves. One, two, and three like so. We're gonna start our decrease which starts in the first one. Okay, so the first one is that the two are together in there and then are decreasing as we go. Pull through and we come into the same one for three more double crochets. So one and then the next two are by themselves like so. And now we've just come all the way back around. We're gonna be changing color as we begin round number 13 and round number 13 is the same for all of the complete dress at this point. So I just joined with a slip stitch with the very beginning chaining of three and now you can really kinda see this dress is coming together quite nicely. Let's start off round number 13 together and we're gonna be changing color but we cannot change color where we are right now nor can we start where we are. So we have to literally come over and you see the group of three. You come over to the first, the middle one and with the white we want to grab it. So I'm gonna change it back to white at this point. And now you're just going to change colors every two uh, revolutions as you go around. So there is your white in and essentially now I want to start round number 13 which is the same. Okay round number 13 all the way to the end depending on what size you're working on is the same across the board. So what we're going to do just chain up three, one, two, and three and we're going to put in three double crochets into that same stitch at the bottom of that same stitch. So one and two. So there's a total of that chaining of three counts as one just for clarification. And now the next three double crochets are by themselves. We're no longer gonna be doing any fancy stitch work at this point. So just one, two and three. And now the next three are going to be together. Okay, so we don't come into the base of this one anymore. We just simply just go for the next three and we do a decrease. So one, two, and three. Okay, and then pull through. So to come up back up the other side is that the next three are by themselves. So three double crochets in a row. Two and three. And then the middle one is three double crochets into the same one. So let's review that one more time. We're gonna come down this side and we're gonna put three double crochets in a row. So one, two, and three. The next three are together. So we're just gonna start off so you don't go into any same stitching anymore. We're not growing it out. Okay, and pull through and then the next three are by them, uh, double crochets are by themselves. So this is the repeat pattern going all the way around. Please do this all the way into the base of the dress for the last round and when we come back I'll have all of this done. You can change the colors as often or as little as you prefer and it's just a really kind of a fun little pattern to work on in the first place. So continue that and I'll meet you at the very bottom of the dress at this time and then we're gonna start doing some trim work on the sleeves and neck afterwards. When you get all the way back around all you're just gonna do then is just continue along and just slip stitch it and then every round that we just do is that we always have to then go to the next middle one over to begin. So therefore this is how you would do it and please meet me at the bottom of doing the entire dress at this point. So off camera I've been working and now I'm on the last round and we still have a bit of a ruffle going on or a bit of a chevron and most people don't prefer that kind of edge but if you do you can stop now or you can finalize it. The final one allows the bottom edge to be completely flat as you're going around all the way around. So what I'm gonna do is that you can see that I'm kind of changing the colors, kind of doing my own thing. You know I encourage you to do the same thing. Explore your own creativity. So what Okay coming up to the final and this is the round before the last and what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to slip stitch and then I'm just gonna fasten off just to make it a nice clean fix. So what I'm going to do is that I'm gonna do the final round and the final round is really easy and the round allows you to really keep it in balance as far as making the edge nice and flat. So what I want you to do is that I want you to join it right where you fastened off. So let's just join the white. I'm just gonna create a slip knot. 
and this is going to be inserted in. So I'm gonna insert in on the first one of the three uh, double crochets that are there. And I'm just going to join it with a slip knot. I want you to chain one and then just single crochet into that spot. So that is your starting. Keep your stragglers down on top. So these are the three. I want you to put a single crochet into each of those. You've already done one therefore you have two more left. So single crochet into those and this is the top of the peak. So every time we're at the top we're gonna have smaller stitches. When we get down to here we'll have larger stitches. So let's uh, begin. We're still gonna carry on. So we got one in there. This is the second. So now you have your three Okay, and now the next two are gonna be half double crochets. So one and two. So they're getting longer because the, the dip is sinking down and now the next three are going to be half double crochets each. So we're just gonna continue to do that. So one and then I'm just gonna put the straggler out of the way in the back. So this is two and we have three. So now we're coming up <laughs> and now we're coming up at this point and so we're gonna get smaller again. So the next two are half doubles and now you're back on the middle section which is your three again. So those will be three single crochets each. No, one single crochet for three I should say. So now we're gonna carry on again. The next two are half doubles. One and two and the next three are doubles and you're gonna carry on doing that same pattern all the way around and then you're gonna fasten off and then therefore the white is complete for the base so you don't have to ever come back to the base. Again this is the final round. So please do that. We'll meet back up in just a moment where we'll finalize off the bottom. We still have sleeves and the neck to worry about still. So now I'm coming all the way back around. I've got my three double crochets in. I'm coming back up so that means that the last two will be half double crochets each and then I'm just going to join with the slip stitch and then I'm just going to fasten them together just like so. So basically this is now done. I'm just gonna weave in my ends or actually kind of just use a darning needle and really hide them. I'm gonna show you how to do that once so I'm just gonna pull through and so I wanna put this onto a darning needle that I have off camera over here and basically I just wanna put it in and the best way to really hide your ends is to use a darning needle. Some people think it's a pain but it's actually really helpful. You wanna insert the needle in behind some of the fibers so it catches into the fibers like so. So you go one direction, so one then you come back in the same direction going into a different spot so you're in different fibers. So for two and for coming back one more time for three and this ensures that this will never fall out because it's impossible for the yarn to go in three different directions when coming loose. So what we want to do then is just simply just trim like so. So now we're ready and we're gonna move up to this project and uh, we want to just kind of clean off any ends that are inside the dress area but this is actually looking really amazing and now it's time to do the neck and we're gonna finish this on off here. So I'm just going to use my darning needle once again and I told you at the very beginning of this tutorial that we were gonna worry about it at the end. How you sew it together is how it will really kind of bind the edge perfectly and uh, you can always improvise if you have to but we are going to go around the neck one time. I'm gonna use red just because I can and essentially what I wanna do is that I just wanna kinda clean up See how it's kind of separated there? I just wanna kinda just go into there with the needle just like so and pull that because that'll pull it nice just like so and then we go back in the same direction that we just came from into some different fibers and this will pull it back and then we go one more time in the same direction the other way and this allows it to get in and therefore this will be permanently locked and we're gonna go around this edge then with some single crochet next. Okay let's begin the neck area and we're gonna put a border and I'm gonna use red because it seems like it's appropriate. So we wanna go back to where we are. This is the good side of the dress. This is the dress that the child would be, you'd be looking at it if you were looking at the child. So what we want to do is just turn it from the back and right where we have our slip stitching is where we wanna join on. So I'm just going to create a slip knot and all we're just going to do at this point is just trace 
this top uh, border with single crochet. So just going in, let's just grab our yarn and pull through, chain one, and then single crochet in. Okay, and I want you to take this straggler and just continue to just leave it on top so that you're just gonna go into every stitch that is all the way around for just a single crochet. And when we come back, I'll have that done and then we'll just fasten off. Please use the technique of uh, doing the sewing like I showed you and then you'll have a perfect finish each and every time. So let's begin to do our sleeve. Both are the same so I'll only show you one time and basically I'm just gonna create a slip knot just like so and insert my hook. Okay, so I wanna insert my hook at the bottom base of the stitch just right down at the bottom and what we want to do is that we just wanna circle around and um, there are two different rounds on this one here. So we're gonna just fasten on so I'm just gonna join it with the slip stitch and essentially just make it really easy to go. So we're going to chain one first and then what we're just gonna do is just go to the next one and we're gonna half double crochet ourselves all the way around. Okay, so just use the stitch work that you can see and it's just really easy and just keeping everything balanced and just go all the way around for a half double crochet and then what we're gonna do is that once we get back all the way around we're gonna go one more round with single crochet and then the sleeves are done on this particular project. So I'm coming all the way back around and I'm just continuing to half double crochet just making sure I get every one. Make sure you don't skip anything because you will notice it definitely. So now I'm all the way back around and I'm just gonna join with the slip stitch chain one and then I'm going to single crochet into each stitch all the way around and when you get th to the end all you're just gonna do is slip stitch once again, fasten off and then grab your darning needle and weave in your ends and please do both. This is actually the conclusion. When I come back I'll show you the final look of my um, dress today and today I've used white as well as holly berry in the Red Heart with Love series and I think it's a really quite Christmassy but my whole point for doing today's pattern was just to indicate to you that you can really do as many different designs and ideas along the way. So here's the dress all finished up. The sleeves are done, the collar and the base just like so and this dress turned out really amazing and I'm really happy with this and hopefully you've enjoyed this tutorial today. Until next time I'm Mikey on behalf of redheart.com as well as the crochet crowd. Stay tuned for more free ideas and patterns coming ahead.